guys. So being that this is going to be my last video for 2023, I thought I would make it a haul. And it's going to be a collective haul of the perfumes I have bought in maybe the last like six to eight months probably. Um, definitely been a while, but I... <laughs> I went, this 2023 was the year that I went head over heels into perfume. Probably more than I should have. Probably a little too hot and heavy with perfumes. But I was obsessed. And I'm going to stop yapping because otherwise we will never see the end of this video. Um, I have some that haven't even been opened yet. So we're going to go in somewhat of a chronological order. Maybe. I have a box of them from another room too. Okay, well, perfumes that started it off. This actually is from like the beginning of the year. Okay, this is the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. This is the full size. This is the three, three point something ounce, three point six, three point two, something like that. Um, love this perfume smells so good and it's like fruity floral but like just enough darkness to it really like it this is actually what got me into perfumes i bought this with a coupon that i had from last christmas um ulta like they do those little like bags of um like s perfume samples like the small ones like the little like these and you get like $15 off a fragrance that's in the set or whatever and this is one of the ones that was in the set this is what I picked I got 15% or $15 off the big version which was really cool and this is actually what plummeted me into perfumes so if you want to blame something blame Ariana it's her fault for sure um and then I have a couple of other Ariana's we're just gonna kind of get them out of the way I have others for sure but these are just the ones that are worth mentioning this is her sweet like candy perfume i'm gonna be very honest normally not a very super sweet fragrance fan but this one is awesome i actually wear this a lot in my hair and this is a one ounce with a little puff ball on it i'm actually almost out of this i think this is this is sweet as candy i think or is it thank you next i can't remember it's the little the little one. i think it's sweet as candy i think i'm pretty sure i don't actually remember it's not really long this one is one of the newer ones. This is the Mod Vanilla. There's a Mod Rose, a Rosé. I have that one as well. I don't like it, so it's not here. Um, I wanted the two pack that was like the one ounces, but instead they didn't have that at the Ulta that I went to. And it was selling out really quick, so I just bought two of the big ones. So this is also 3.4, 3.4 ounces. And this is like the perfect vanilla. I wear this a lot. I wear this all the freaking time. This was my signature scent there for a minute. I really like this. If I'm going for a vanilla, this is normally about where I'm at. Very, very good fragrance. I'm obsessed. Um, again, kind of staying in that range. I've got these uh, mix bar ones from Target. The vanilla bourbon number nine is awesome. And then the coconut palm number eight is also very good very opposite ends of the spectrum this one's very fall very like musky bourbon scent and then this one's obviously coconut with like a musk which is really really nice i like the muskiness to this a lot it's not just like flat coconut which i like um then we've got philosophy um pure grace summer moments and they're falling in love these are both awesome. This is my summer fragrance, the summer moments. Smells literally like a beach. Like it's what it smells like. It's the whole vibe. I love it. I used an absolute crap ton of it this year um, and obsessed. It actually really like, like allowed me to start my philosophy journey with them. Some of their fragrances are definitely too much for me, but that one's awesome. And falling in love is like my date night fragrance. It's like kind of sultry berry scent which I really really like love these I will tell you I'm flying through these because there are so many <laughs> then we went kind of higher end okay we went to the higher end fragrance and we, we stayed there for a minute we definitely did we stayed there for too long we're still there it's an issue 
So I got the uh, Valentino Born in Roma. This is from a Sephora free gift from last year. I got the full size. This is my like bougie going out fragrance. I love this. This is a cult classic. Everybody knows this perfume. If you don't, go give it a sniff because it's awesome. And it's definitely a, like a fan favorite. It's not the same one. Okay, leave me be. But it is the same one as this one. I bought the travel size. And I was like, this is fine. This is the Valentino Born Aroma Coral Fantasies. Bought the travel size. I told myself I wasn't going to wear it till I got to summer. And then I bought it not that long ago. Actually, this is relatively new. Um, and I was like, I'm not going to wear this till summer. And then I made a quite a dent in like the first couple of days. And I was like, Ugh. And then Sephora did a 20% off full-time, full-size fragrances up to like, I think it was like an ounce or something. It was like the one ounce ones. I'm so sorry to say this. I know this is like a flanker of this one, but this one is so good. It's so much better. It smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I did get 20% off, which when you're buying perfume like this, doesn't feel like that much <laughs> because it's not. Um, but I know. Oh! I now have two. They do look different enough in the liquids that you can tell which is which, which is awesome. But this is where we start to get a little bit out of hand, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna be for real and, and be honest and transparent and say this is where I fell off the deep end, okay? Around the last like month and a half is when most of this damage was done and it was insane. Give me one second. So yeah, so this last like month and a half, maybe like I would say like well, a month and a half would be from Thanksgiving. Like, Thanksgiving onwards is when a lot of this damage was done. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but we're gonna get through it. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna, we're gonna go through. I'm actually gonna really try and not buy stuff in 2024. We'll see. That's a big ask for me. But I have actually, I've heard a lot about this brand and I wanted to smell some of their stuff. And I, I literally had all of them. Where did they go? This is how you know you're looking at too much stuff when you can't find something in front of your face. Okay, I'm not crazy. Well, I am, but like normal crazy, not like delusional crazy. What happened to the other one? Ugh. When I finally find this, I'm going to feel crazy as a loon that I couldn't find it. Okay, you know what? I don't actually care that much. We're going to go through there's these five. There's six of them. I don't know where the th six of them went. Um, these are the dossier, 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 I don't know, like little samples, the, like exploration thing. Walmart actually came out with these. They're sets of three. That's why I know there's one missing and it's bugging the hell out of me, but I don't know where it is. So um, I actually smelled all of these in an ASMR video. And we'll be honest, I don't think it's, it's Dossier's fault. I think it's the perfumes that they chose to, like, um, be inspired by that I just didn't like. Uh, but I didn't like most of these, so that's nice. But uh, there's Floral Marshmallow in here, which is, I think, one of the ones I didn't like. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah, that was too sweet, I think. That was gross. <laughs> just gonna rip these apart. Uh, Ambery Saffron. That one was actually pretty nice. like that one. Ambery Cherry. Which I think is like a like a dupe for Tom Ford Cherry, I believe. That smells nice. Um, Ambery Vanilla. I actually like that one too. I remember disliking a lot of these. Powdered Coconut. Powdery Coconut. I don't love this one. I don't love this one. Um, there's one more, and I can actually tell you which one it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla? Vanilla? I'm not fancy enough to know how to say Tom Ford's names. That one smelled like ass. I'm going to be completely honest. That one stunk. I hated it. I gagged. Um, I don't like leather. I don't like uh, like t tobacco scents. I don't like that whole frame of fragrance line. So that whole like division of fragrance is not my cup of tea, which is fine. If it is for somebody else, that's awesome. I smell it on other people, like men and stuff. It smells great, but not my thing. So then we went into fragrances that were so expensive that I refused to buy full sizes of <laughs> and uh, bought only travel size. I have only two of them that I paid the travel size price for. Uh, and it's both, Juliet Has a Gun is the brand for both of these. And we've got Pear Ink. 
and vanilla vibes. The, the hopes I had for this vanilla scent were unmatched because I got the pear one first and I was like, I really like this one. It, it's more sophisticated than just your average fruit, but I really like it. Like it's nice. It wears nice. It feels good. It smells great. It's like a good, a good fragrance. I really liked it. Right. And then I was like, Ooh, I love vanilla. Like I love it, especially like this time of year, fall, winter. Vanilla is like my favorite thing in the world. Right. Like I love, I'm obsessed. Okay. So I was like, Oh my God, they've got a vanilla vibes scent, like vibes, vanilla vibes. Like to me, that's like warm, cashmere blanket by a fire in a log cabin like that's what vanilla vibes means to me this doesn't even smell like vanilla to me like there is no real vanilla in this and that is the most disappointing thing in the world to me i truly was hoping that julia had a gun would pull out for this one but they did not which is fine um i have heard people talk about it and they love it and that's awesome i almost i'm not oh jesus i don't dislike it i just don't love it like i do other fragrances speaking of skylar's clean beauty vanilla sky this is a vanilla one that i love this is one that Juliet has a gun should take and make a dupe of or make a more bougie version of because this is vanilla, this is fall, this is snowing in Vermont with a blanket and a cup of hot chocolate by a fire watching a Christmas movie. That's what this smells like to me. Or if you want to go a little bit further, it's like the northeast part of the United States, whichever, whichever state you prefer, with in the fall when the leaves are falling, walking through like by a, by a river and stepping on the leaves. That's what I'm getting. Like a cup of joe or a good cup of hot chocolate. That's the vibe this gives me. And I love this. I'm obsessed with it. I think it smells awesome. I wish this one weren't a roller bowl. I wish it were a spray because I feel like it would last on me a little bit longer. That's my one complaint about this. I don't feel like it lasts on me that long, but otherwise genuinely one of my favorite fall fragrances ever so good um to so come back from bougie land these are two samples of philosophies amazing graces and these are like are they flankers of amazing grace i don't know this is amazing graces ballet rose and then this one is living grace now these are where is the little thing there it is this one is fresh. The Living Grace is very fresh to me. It gives me that very like clean laundry, very, very fresh vibe. Ballet Rose. I bought this because it was a small one and it was $12, right? So I got it and I was like, it's fine. It is rosy, obviously. Very, very floral. But I'm not a floral person. Don't like it normally. Like totally against it. But there's something about this rose in particular that I just really like like it's because it's not just floral there's like a, a hint of something on the back end of it that really just like brings it out that I really really like and that's surprising I was not high hopes with that one but it, it really did show up for me I'm not gonna lie it really did that day um, then we have, this is actually a very new one. I just recently got this in a boxy charm, actually. This is the Rosie by Rosie Jane. That's the scent. I've only worn this like once, literally like one singular time. Haven't even hauled it on my other channel. <laughs> like this is a very new fragrance, but I really like this one so far. I wore it once. It did well for me. I really like it. I cannot describe it. It's not Rosie. <laughs> It's like a clean rose fruit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I, I'm terrible at describing scents, as you have probably been able to tell. We are finally. Oh, I totally forgot there was others down here. We're, we're not even close to the end. Never mind. I was like, we're close to the end. No, no. Um, where do we go first? Let's go here. We've got her open already. We might as well just show her off. This is the Nest Golden Nectar Eau de Parfum. Okay, this perfume. <laughs> Close to the arm and a motherfucking leg. Okay, we're about to get into my stupidly expensive perfumes. Perfumes that hurt my feelings, how much I spent on them. And actually, the Valentino ones should have come in at this phase of life because these are stupid expensive. Anyways, 
this perfume is like about a hundred bucks. Um, it is a decent size. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's a decent size. It was part of the 20% off sale from Sephora, whatever. Um, I love it. It smells beautiful. I wish I could describe it to you. I can't. Um, floral with like this really mature vanilla on the end of it, which is like so awesome. Um, I genuinely like can't describe this to you. And Nest has tons of them at Sephora. I'm sure you can order online, whatever, right? Here's my beef. And I don't know if it's related. I have yet to fully test and confirm if it's related because I've been fighting off this like sickness that everybody's been having around me for like two and a half weeks. When I bought this, I opened it first day and wore it. I wore it to work first day. Came home after it had like worn off with a raging migraine. Okay. Unrelated, for sure unrelated. Day two, wore it again. Felt bougie. The last time on this is unreal. This perfume lasts on your skin or clothes for on your clothes it lasts for about 10 decades but on your skin it lasts most of the day which is like this is like one of my only perfumes that does that i'm not even gonna lie the last the longevity of this is un unbelievable to me so i get through to like three o'clock and i don't really smell it anymore and then i get home at like 5 30 6 o'clock migraine again third day migraine again so this is all the days i've been in the office i work three days a week from the office I come home, I don't wear perfume on Fridays because I'm working from home. Who am I trying to smell nice for? Not that I'm trying to smell nice for anybody anyways, but you know, it's nice to smell nice around individuals, right? Like if you're around people, you want to smell nice, right? Cool. No headache. Then I've had headaches on and off, like I have my migraines on and off again because I'm sick, right? But when I smell it, no migraine. When I wear it, I'm testing my situation out right now because when I, I want to know if because I had been off of work for so long that maybe it was the lighting at my job that was giving me a headache because that does sometimes happen. It, it triggers my migraines. I want to know. I'm not going to get rid of this yet, but it is on my chopping block, unfortunately. It is on the might be returned to Sephora list, which is so heartbreaking because I adore this fragrance. I love it. It smells so good. And it's so mature, but in like the best way possible. Oh, I love it. Anyways. I have another favorite um, from Philosophy, and for the life of me, the name is escaping me. It's like the Christmas one. They've got like a holiday one. Let's see if I can look it up. Um, ha! Unconditional love. This is what it looks like. Maybe. There we go. And I've got like a ginormous bottle of that stuff. And I adore it. I've actually used a crap ton of it. It's like one of my favorite Christmas scents ever. It's like berry, vanilla, very nice. Now let's get into opening. I'm going to skip my expensive ones really quick and go to a pretty one. This is a really pretty bottle. I have opened this. I've already actually used this. I just put it back in here for the gigs. I bought this on, a vac on vacation. And this is like a 30... 35 39 dollar fragrance like it was very not expensive and it's by the brand pepe jeans london and this is the like london's london calling i don't actually know the full name of this fragrance i'm not even gonna lie to you i think it's called london calling but it is like a little martini glass and this is actually metal down here which i think is really cool it is London Calling for Her is the name of it. So, this is actually, okay, so I will be completely honest. Because of the price of this, I was actually going to just buy it for the bottle. Um, you guys know I went to, well, if you, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I went to London this year, so every I'm all about my London era right now. <laughs> but this smells really good as well as just being really pretty. It's, um... very very musky very like um nighttime esque and it's got like that hint of like cherry and fruit in it which i really really like um very very nice packaging very nice bottle very very nice smell love all of it so that's my last on the like 
lighter price tag end of things. Now I've got all the expensive ones. There are three that are new that are expensive. I have really gone in around Christmas. There have been a lot of holiday sales. Don't judge me. Okay. This is the, one of my newest ones. This is the three, the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods scent. There are so many cool things about this that I want to talk about. And I'm just going to read it from the back of the bottle here. It says, with sustainably sourced organic fair trade vanilla oil from Madagascar, which is awesome. Um... Best for alleviating stress, calming, soothing the overworked. It is a clean, like, there aren't any, like, the nasty shit in here. Smells unreal. This smells, this is like my new vanilla. This is my new bougie vanilla. It smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. Let's see. How does it describe it? Says this perfume supports local education and healthcare. Our fair, fair trade vanilla is sourced from sustainable cooperatives. It provides family a fair wage. Hypoallergenic, cruelty free, and vegan. Top note is pear. Heart note is rose. Base note is vanilla and caramel. There, that that's like, if I were to make a fragrance, that this would be it probably. Those are the notes I adore. It's that fruitiness with the vanilla with like that caramelness, which kind of adds whether you like it or not. This like sweetie, sweetie saltiness. Very, very nice. Love that fragrance. Two left. And one of them is this one. I'm going to, I'm going to butcher this. I think it's Fleur, P-H-L-U-R. And this is the Missing Persons perfume. This is actually my free perfume from, um, if, if you saw my ASMR channel, I bought the, um, like the sample thing from Sephora again this is the one I got this year that was my free one so to describe let me just show you the bottle so describe this scent they say it is a floral musk the top notes skin musk bergamot nectar sheer jasmine heart notes of neruli blossom orange flower base notes of sandalwood oil blonde wood and white musk and on here it says, our fragrances are inspired by memories, moments, experiences, and feelings. Those that are intimately personal and universally shared. I think it's really cute. Um, this is over $100, so not sure I would buy this with my own money. Um, but the bottle is quality. This is a really nice glass, and this lid weighs like 70 pounds. It's magnetic, which I think is awesome. You smelled it. You or you heard you smelled it. Smell it. You heard the the notes. And the only thing I can add to this is I would agree it is a floral musk. Wow. Great, great notes. Great <laughs> great takeaway. It is very floral, but that muskiness really brings it to a level that allows me to like actually want to wear it. <laughs> because there are a lot of florals that I just cannot put up with and this is not one of them. I really like this perfume. I'm actually really excited to wear this fragrance fragrance, quite a bit. So I'm excited for that. That's going to be like a springtime fragrance for me, for sure. And we're ending with a banger. This is a brand. A lot of these are brands I never had before this year. And this is a brand that I was actually really, really excited to try. I got this on a cruise as well. So I paid no duties on it. This is $98. If that, if that is more expensive on land, do not tell me, okay? Now, again, another brand I'm going to butcher. Is it Volgari? Volgari. I'm so sorry. I don't know. B-V-L-G-R-G-A-R-I. I've heard of it. That's the first time I've ever smelled their perfumes was this time. Almina Amethyst. I'm so Oh, my God. We are not bougie enough to own the perfume that you own. I'm actually removing the plastic with you guys as we speak. <laughs> this is a very different fragrance for me. Very much out of my wheelhouse of... Right, I can't even freaking open it. Very out of my wheelhouse of fragrance. I'm sure you guys have seen this bottle before because I even I was not a fragrance person until this year. And even I've seen this bottle before. It's got a really cool little sprayer. You spray it for right here. Let me spray it because I want to remember. It's been a minute since I bought this and I haven't really. Oh my god. Okay. This is a very, very new scent for me. Okay. This is super floral, very soapy. <laughs> um, 
I don't know how to say this without it sounding bad and that's not the intention I have here. It's very nursing home. Like a very like 80 year olds at Christmas. You know what I'm saying? It is a very older scent. Probably more one than I wouldn't normally reach for on a normal day. However, it really gives that like the afterlay of it is just really, really nice. And there is something about the beginning floralness of it that I really enjoy. Um, and I'm sure there are more fragrances. I have actually done a second. Oh, there is. There's actually one right here. This is one I actually kind of regret buying. I bought it because of a celebrity. This is uh, Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. This smells like frosting, vanilla frosting, cake cookies really on brand with the sweet like it's like pink sugar meets vanilla um don't necessarily dislike it it's just not my personal cup of tea which is fine you know you don't have to cater to me um this I will probably give to somebody else but um generally speaking I have actually done a pretty good job with fragrances this year. I bought a lot. I actually love a lot of them, which is awesome because I feel like sometimes I buy fragrances and I like them in the store, but I went up not liking them at home, which is unfortunate. But I uh, really didn't do that this year, which I like, um, obviously. Um, really branched out into designer fragrances too, which is crazy. Um, but that is all I have to show you. I hope you guys have had a beautiful 2023. Um, I hope you have a great new year and I will see you guys sometime in 2024. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.